Yo, what is going on everyone? It is Memory here, coming at you all with a pretty fun video, I would say. I actually didn't think of doing something like this, because this list has been out for a little bit now, I would say, the r slash anime, 100 favorite anime. I actually voted in the poll for this when they had it, and when the results came out, they put out like a video of all the 100 anime and where they were ranked and whatnot, and I remember watching it in you know Discord with some friends of mine, but now I've been seeing like tier lists go around of, you know, this list, people making tier lists. And I was like, okay, that would actually be a pretty cool idea. So that's what we're doing in today's video. As you can see right here, we have the r slash anime's 100 favorite anime. I had to flip my cam, by the way, because I had it in the one corner and it was like blocking everything. So if it's weird, I apologize. But yeah, we have S through D tier. Haven't watched. There's going to be ones like that. And you can see all the anime in here which there's definitely going to be ones i haven't watched hopefully majority of them i've watched because honestly i don't even remember what the 100 anime are you could imagine some of them of course uh which ones will be in here but uh also you know this is my opinion you guys are entitled to your opinion that's the you know beauty of media consumption we're not going to agree on everything i remember the one tier list i put out with dangers in my heart people had a problem with where i ranked it i still gave it a pretty solid ranking but i just wasn't as high on it as a lot of others seem to be that's just how things go sometimes you know and there's probably going to be ones like that in here so uh you know don't don't get on me too hard don't don't grill me too hard uh but yeah let's get right into the list because we have a hundred anime to get through so we're starting off with an easy easy s tier vinland saga i don't think much you know really has to be said about vinland season one season two Season one, crazy. It was just the prologue and it was that good. And then season two, just my favorite part of the whole story. And I feel like a lot of people would say the same. So Vinland gets an S tier for me easily. Next up, we have Kaguya-sama. I would say Kaguya-sama is an A for me. I wouldn't quite put it in S tier, but I don't think it's low enough for me personally where I'd put it in B tier. Now, I, I, I just should probably say this now. I'm probably not going to go too much in depth with a lot of these and talk about a lot of these you know too much because we'd be here forever next up we have evangelion now this may be the first one <laughs> where people are gonna be like dude are you serious i would probably put ava and b now the thing with ava i'm just gonna quickly say this like i obviously recognize its impact and especially a lot of my favorite series that came after ava the influence that it had like Eureka 7 for example Eureka 7 is one of my favorite anime of all time and Ava had a huge influence on it even Gurren Lagann as well so I do recognize Ava for that I'm just not as big on it as probably most people are but for me I would say it's B tier and that might be the first hot take or whatever I don't know what you'd want to say but next up we have JJK I'm assuming this is all of what we have so far, like season one, season two, the uh, movie and whatnot. I would say JJK is a B for me. Next up, we have Angel Beats. I would also put Angel Beats in B. Now, Angel Beats was honestly probably the first series, and I watched it in like 2015 or 2016. It was probably the first anime that really like hit me in the feels. Like, I don't even remember if I like shed a tear or cried or anything like that, but I just remember very clearly i was like laying on my couch in the living room watching angel beats it was like late at night like probably three or four in the morning and i was just like devastated <laughs> when watching angel beats so angel beats definitely a solid one next up we have yu yu hakusho i actually have not watched yu yu hakusho yet which I, is probably crazy horimiya we have i would say horimiya c for me it's just kind of all right it's nothing crazy but it's not bad. Kill La Kill. Ooh, is Kill La Kill? Kill La Kill might be... It's, it's It has to be between A and B, I feel like, for sure. Hmm. I would probably say... High B. I'll, I'll put it in A for now. We might make some changes. We'll see. But I'm, I'm thinking like low A or high B for Kill La Kill right now. Odd Taxi, I'd put an A. 86? 86 is high A or S tier. I feel like it has to be. I'll say high A for now, but it might. It's it's treading that line of, of S tier. 
Fate Zero S tier. I think it's set up here actually that Fate Zero and uh, yeah, Fate Zero and Unlimited Blade Works are both in the list. Mushoku Tensei. Mushoku Tensei. Man, I don't know. Is it it's kind of like 86 in a way. It's it's treading on that line of S tier. But it's definitely it's definitely A tier. Like 86 and Mushoku Tensei are both definitely A tier. But I feel like the discussion can be made for S tier. I kind of like this for now. We'll see though. Berserk. Now I I'm assuming this is the 90s one. I would put this in A. If the, if we're talking about the 90s, if we're talking about the Berserk anime as a whole, it would be lower than this. The Berserk manga is S tier, but Origairu, I'm a big Origairu fan to be honest. I would put it in A. Summertime rendering, this is another one I wasn't really crazy about. I would put it up I would put it above Horimiya for sure. I think this one for me started off really good. But as it went along, I kind of was, I kind of like lost interest in it. Uh, but it's not bad by any means, but it's just kind of all right to me. Eminence and Shadow, C tier as well. It's kind of the same on how I feel about Summertime Rendering. Spy Family, I would say is a B. I really liked the first initial part of the first season or whatever of, of Spy Family, but there's been some, some bumps in it for sure. Slime, slime, I would put A tier. The Tatami Galaxy, man. Tatami Galaxy's A tier. Showa, Genroku, Rakugo, Shinju. S tier. So you have to like scroll down and then scroll back up. Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man, Chainsaw Man. I would I would put Chainsaw Man in B with JJK. I, I probably, yeah, I'd put it in here somewhere. Cyberpunk Edge Runners A, Lycoris Recoil. Is it, there's some recency bias in here for sure? If you guys cannot, tell, <laughs> there is some recency bias. Uh, Lycoris Recoil, I'd put in B. Bochi the Rock, I would put like high B probably. Yeah. What we got so far? Steins Gate. A tier. See, here's the thing. There's like, this is the top 100 favorite anime on Reddit that people have voted in. So like the majority of these series, I'm not even surprised that I have a lot in A tier or whatever tier so far that that trend will probably continue because this is the best of the best, you would think at least, right? I mean, so far we have a lot of bangers, but so yeah, I put Steinsgate in A. Re Zero, I have to, I have to go S tier, man. I have to go S tier just for you know the show itself, obviously the anime itself, but just the impact, especially me making content. I mean, Re Zero that time in 2016 was just a special time. It really was when that was like towards the beginning of me making content. There, there is kind of a soft spot there with me for Re Zero, but obviously as a whole, it's great. Dangers in my heart, I, you know, I would say B tier. Like I, I think I put it in B tier or something like that in the, in the ranking I did for that season. I would say B tier. Perfect blue, perfect blue is definitely A tier. It might be S tier. I, I might put perfect blue in S tier. Perfect blue is honestly one of the like my favorite anime films that I've watched. Honestly, I, I'm good with that right now. S tier. Oshinoko. See, ah. I've been enjoying I've been enjoying this season more season two than season one, but I'm just I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big fan of Oshinoko. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not gonna elaborate too much, but I'm just not crazy on it. So I, I put it in high C for now. Code Geass S tier. Samurai Shampoo. I love Samurai Shampoo. I I would probably put Samurai Shampoo in S tier. It, it has to be high A or. Uh, or S, especially the hip hop. Like, that's where it, it really gets me a lot. I mean, obviously, there's a lot more to it than that, but the the soundtrack for Samurai Shampoo is one of my favorites. I think this is from the New World. I have not watched this. Haruhi, it's actually in my reaction poll. If you guys haven't voted in that, definitely go do that. But I have not watched Haruhi yet. Freerun, recency bias, maybe you can say it. I don't know, but I would I would put Freerun S tier personally. 
Apothecary Diaries, I'd put an A. Death Note, I'd put an A. One Piece, now, here's the thing. I've read a good chunk of One Piece, but I've not watched the anime, so I can't really say much. Okay, Psycho Pass. Here, here's the thing with Psycho Pass. If we're just talking about Season 1, I would put it in S tier, but I'm pretty sure this is factoring in maybe the whole series. I, I don't know. I, I mean, it's... See, with Berserk... I would think it's just the late 90s one, especially with the visual. This is just the visual for Psychopath Season 1. So if we're talking about just Psychopath Season 1, I would put it in S tier, personally. Legend of the Galactic Heroes, I haven't watched. Dragon Ball Z? Dragon Ball Z, man. Ah. High B, low A? I, I would say high B. I mean, just the impact it's had. And it does have a special place, place in my heart, too. It's like technically the first anime i watched i didn't know it was an anime at the time but you know technically it's the that summer that i watched all of dragon ball i was still in school summer break i was spending my time watching dragon ball <laughs> out of like i never thought i would do that right especially me growing up i was always playing sports during the summer but i spent a good chunk of time in one of the summers when i was in school started the og dragon ball went right into dragon ball z i watched dragon ball gt i watched all the movies and then eventually super obviously came out but some of the first content I made on YouTube was for Dragon Ball. So I, I'm, I'm good with that. I'm good with Dragon Ball being in, in B. I'm not really too concerned about where things are in B now. I was kind of thinking about that earlier and how they were all mixed up and ordered. But I'm not really concerned about that right now. Hibiki, I would say Hibiki Euphonium. I'd put high B, low A probably put it there for now naruto i haven't watched i've only watched like random episodes of naruto to be honest i can't really say that i've watched it or rate it let's see we have konosuba konosuba as a whole i would say is in b for me psyche k i haven't watched your line april your line april is probably high c low b I mean, compared to the ones, hmm, I would, I'd might, I might put it in high C for now. Bakano A tier, Monster I haven't watched yet. Higurashi I haven't watched. Cowboy Bebop A tier. Toradora, okay, well, hot take incoming. I'm, I do not like Toradora. I just, I just don't. Maybe. When I was first getting into anime, I would have liked Toradora a lot, but watching it sort of recently, I'm just, I'm not big on it. And I, I'm just not a fan. I know this is probably where, you know, some of the rom-com tropes or whatever maybe came from, ones that we saw after Toradora, but I'm just not, I don't think it's bad enough to put in D tier, but I just, I'm not a fan, to be honest, of it. I just don't think it really, now it didn't come out like a crazy amount of time ago, but I just don't think it really holds up. And I'm just not a big fan of a lot of the common rom-com tropes anyway that we get. And I feel like Toradora is that. It's that in a nutshell, <laughs> pretty much. So, Chihaya Furu, S tier. Jojo, I'm assuming this is, I mean, this is just the thing for like Jojo Part 1. But if we're talking about, I would still put Jojo probably in A, honestly. If we're talking about like the whole thing. Bleach, I haven't watched. I've read, I read Bleach to catch up for Thousand Year Blood War, but I have not watched the original anime. AOT, man. AOT, I gotta, I gotta put in S tier as a whole. It's just, it's special, it's special to me, man. It really is. Hilka, haven't watched. Gurren Lagan. I mean, you guys should already know. We put that one, the, the order matters for Gurren Lagan, right? It, it's the top of S tier. Nan Nan Biori, I would say B. Welcome to the NHK, I haven't watched. Railgun, I'd put an A. Madoka Magica, I I haven't watched the movies for Madoka yet, which is crazy because I watched Madoka like so long ago, but I'd probably put Madoka in high B. Ping Pong, the animation, I would put in A. High B, low A, something like that. 
Spice and Wolf, the OG Spice and Wolf. Put high B. Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works. I don't like Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works as much as Fate Zero, but I'd probably still put it in A. Gintama I haven't watched. Musishi I haven't watched. Bake. Bake Monogatari. Bake Monogatari is not like my favorite insert in the series. There's other inserts I like more. So if we're just talking about Bake, I'd probably put it in B, like high B. But Monogatari as a whole, I'd say probably A. What is this? Is this Simple Gear? I can't even really tell. But I, if it's Simple Gear, I have not watched Simple Gear. Nichi Joe, I haven't watched. Assassination Classroom, I've only watched season one. I have not watched season two. So is it really fair to rate it? I don't know. Probably not fair to rate it, but if we're just talking about season one, I'd put it in B. Put it in B tier. Just so keep that in mind. Full Metal Alchemist. This is the original Full Metal Alchemist. I actually haven't watched the original. Princess Mononoke, I would say. Freaking fly. Princess Mononoke, I would say. I'd probably put it in B. Like high B. There's definitely other Ghibli movies I prefer more than princess mononoke like there's a couple honestly high q high q has to be high a the scrolling and whatnot is getting pretty ridiculous now i know high q i'd probably put in high a or s tier one punch man man one punch man season one was special bro i don't care what anybody says it was special but season two kind it kind of took a little bit of a dip High B, maybe? Low A? Especially season one. Season one was a blast. Hmm. I'm cool with B for now. I'm cool with High B. K on, I haven't watched. I have that in the poll as well. Once again, if you guys have not voted, go ahead and do that. Fully Cooly, I would say, is somewhere in High B, Low A. Probably say High B. Aria, I haven't watched. My Hero as a whole, I'd probably say B. Spirited Away. See, now here's the thing. If I had to compare, like, because I put Princess Mononoke in B. If I had to compare Spirited Away, I'd probably put Spirited Away in B as well, to be honest. I'd probably... See, I'm not too crazy about the order. We can we can worry about that a little later. We're, we're kind of winding down here. But yeah, Spirited Away, there's just other Ghibli movies I prefer. I don't even think they're in here. But like Whisper of the Heart, Howl's Moving Castle. Um, I prefer ones like that more than Spirited Away and Princess Mononoke, personally. Even like Grave of the Fireflies, I probably prefer more than Spirited Away and Princess Mononoke. Mob Psycho 100, honestly, is S tier for me. I would, I would say it. I would say Mob Psycho is S tier. March Comes in Like a Lion is S tier. See, I have to, like, put these in a different thing and then drag them up. It's kind of getting ridiculous. March comes in, like, a line is, like, up here, though. Made in Abyss? Made in Abyss. Made in Abyss. See, like, season one, I'd say an A. Season two, I'd say Made in Abyss is, like, high, high B tier, low A. That's where I'd put it for now. Your Name, I'd say B tier. Land of the Lustrous, B tier. Girls Last Tour, B tier. Yuru Camp, Peak Slice of Life. Peak Slice of Life right here, man. I put an S tier. A Place Further Than the Universe, A tier. Uh, serial, ex I was about to say Spirial. <laughs> serial Experiments Lane, I have not finished. So, what is that? Liz and the Blue Bird. Liz and the Blue Bird. So, I have Hibiki and B. I, I like Liz and the, and the Blue Bird quite a bit, I would say. I'd still... I'd probably put it in A. I'd probably put it in A, to be honest. It's either high B or low A. I've been saying that for a lot of these, I feel like. Uh, Rayview Starlight. I 
finished season one. I have not watched the movie yet, which apparently is like peak fiction. The movie is. So. Where would I put it, though? If I did, if I was just talking about season one and not the movie, from what I've watched so far, I'd put it in B. Bunny Girl Senpai. Bunny Girl Senpai, I like quite a bit, honestly. I would probably say A. Yeah, I'd probably say A. I haven't watched... I'm not up to date with, like, all the movies and whatnot because there's been, like, a couple movies that have came out now. I, I watched the one movie. I think it was, like, the prequel or something like that, wasn't it? Don't quote me on that. I don't even remember. It's been a couple years now. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, I would say S tier, like, up here for sure. Grand Blue. Now, Grand Blue, I'd say A. Somewhere up here in A. About, about as good as you can get with comedy. A comedy anime, you know? Clanad, I haven't watched. There's a lot I haven't watched in here. Violet Evergarden has to be high A. Somewhere up here. I'm not really, like, too... Jeez, I mean, what what is going on with the ads here? I'm sorry about the ads, guys. I tried refreshing the thing, ad blocker, whatever. It's just not doing any good. Utena. Haven't watched. Wow, Bloom Into You made it in here. That's kind of... Like, I like Bloom Into You. Like, I would say... I would say it's B. Like, somewhere in the middle of B or something like that. I'll just put it in B. I'm surprised it's in here, though. I don't remember even it being in here. A Silent Voice. Uh, S tier. Hunter Hunter. S tier. I mean, we're leaving off with some... We're, we're leaving off with some bangers. Like, Hunter Hunter's up here somewhere. Fruits Basket. I mean, Fruits Basket probably is S tier for me, man. I'm not gonna lie. Fruits Basket as a whole, especially, like... I, I would probably put it in S tier. If you guys watch my reaction, do you guys know how I feel about that series? I reacted to the whole thing, I'm pretty sure. Like, the whole remake. Demon Slayer as a whole... Man, season one, I enjoyed a lot. The Mugen Train arc, I enjoyed a lot. But, I mean, man, these past couple seasons, dude. I would, I would put it in B, probably. But, like, lately... Like, lately, it's kind of down here somewhere, man. But... I'll put it in B. All right, so we have everything in the tiers, right? Now, the thing is, do I want to do I want to change anything? That's an important bit here. Gurren Lagann, obviously, no, I don't want to change. Vinland Saga, I don't want to change. March comes in like a lion, no. I feel like my S tier, I like maybe Fate Zero would be in here, but my S tier, I, I I I like quite a bit. Eighty six. I, I I might put eighty six in here. Mushoku. I might put. I, I was I just go with my gut. I'm going with my gut. I'm putting those in S tier. Fate Zero maybe would be like A. Maybe Euro Camp would be A. But because Euro Camp season two specifically is like peak like slice of life for me. You know, I, I would, let's do this. Yuru Camp A, Fade Zero. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to go too crazy on the order. I don't really think we're ordering these specifically. But just know that Gurren Lagann, Vinland Saga, March comes in like a line, Full Metal, Hunter Hunter, Rakugo even. Like, those are, like, my favorite shows of all time. Like some of those right there. So. I'm pretty happy with my S tier. I would say. A tier. Yuru Camp. Violet Evergarden. Kaguya. Haikyuu. Kill La Kill. Kill La Kill might be further down. Like. I don't know. Grand Blue. Odd Taxi. Berserk, Origairu, Slime, Tatami Galaxy, Cyberpunk, Steins Gate. I'm pretty, I would say I'm pretty content with this, with this A tier. I like this A tier. 
B tier, Maiden Abyss, One Punch Man, Fooly Cooly, Spice and Wolf, Madoka. Man, <laughs> just, I don't know. Madoka being in B and, and A, but I just know people are going to be pissed at me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. We, we just have different opinions. Like, you can make the case for some of these being higher, but... Me, personally, I'm pretty good with this B tier, I would say, as well. Because, like, even for your name, there's other Shinkai films I would put higher, you know? Like, obviously, it's beautiful. And B is still a solid ranking. Like, people are going to see B tier and think I'm, like, shitting on these. Like, yeah, maybe you could put them a spot higher. You know, maybe some of these a spot lower. Even in these higher tiers, you guys would probably say, oh, they're in a spot lower. But that's why we, you know, it's my opinion in you guys have your opinions as well, and I respect those. But don't come in here hating on me, man. <laughs> Throwing personals. You know, that's when it, well, that, that, that's when people cross the line, right? There's a way you go about it. I know I'm rambling now. There's a way you go about it where you just be like, oh, I disagree personally, and this is why. You don't have to come in here being all rude <laughs> and whatnot. B tier. I have nothing in D tier which is kind of to be expected because this is like the top 100 most of these anime are really freaking good they're solid there's not really like bad anime in here maybe your line april and in, in in b i i don't know i'm pretty i feel like i'm pretty good with this i got nothing in d tier <laughs> which i'm not really surprised but yeah this would be how i would rank this would be my tier list for r slash anime's 100 favorite anime a lot of good stuff on here maybe some recency bias some ones that made it in here if you'd want to say i don't know but yeah this would be my list there's a good chunk of the 100 i have not watched which kind of sucks but i will get to them eventually someday some of them are even in the poll I think it's like my third time mentioning it now, but go vote. Go vote in the freaking poll if you haven't yet. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys think of my list. Any ones that you like really, really disagree with, ones that you super agree with, maybe ones you weren't expecting to see in S tier that didn't make it in S tier, ones in other tiers, maybe you didn't expect to see them there. Let me know. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you guys did enjoy the video make sure you drop a like subscribe if you're new and also i will have the tier list in the comments or in the description if you guys want to go make one yourselves and share one with me maybe on twitter or something along those lines but yeah that's about it i'll see you all in the next video thank you for watching once again if i didn't mention it uh, already peace out